Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then hello. My name is Marshall Sharp and I am a fashion photographer, makeup artist, creator, designer, YouTuber, etc. And it is so good to meet you. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell icon to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. We are already over 500 subscribers and it means the world to me. I hope to grow tremendously this year. A lot of things are in the works. Now, we are at the end of another week. It's been a very rough week for me, to be completely and honest with you. Um, I've dealt with a lot of personal issues this week and I need to just sit down and have fun with makeup. I want to slap on some color onto my face because color for me makes me so happy. If you are a follower of mine and you have been viewing my photography, you would know that my style involves a lot of color and they are very saturated and very vivid. So with all of that being said, I am just gonna get creative. I am going to have fun today because I need to express my artistic abilities. So without further ado, let's jump right on into the video. All right, you guys, first things first, I am going to go ahead and do all of my basics off camera. I'm going to do my foundation. I'm going to block my eyebrows and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. Foundation is on. Erased my eyebrows with about 10 layers of glue. Um, and we are in the baking process. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, Marshall, this is not your foundation shade. Well, hold it right there, sweetie. This is what I meant for it to be. Um, now, this week I happened to run upon a fabulous human being. He goes by the name The Arsenic on Instagram. I will throw up some screenshots right now. And this one particular look, I fell in love with. And I need it on my face right now. I just, I need it in my life. Um, of course, I'll put my own little spin on it and make it a little bit different, but I'm just in love with it. I, I think it's phenomenal. And the color and everything, the little beard, oh, I love it. So I am going to try my best to recreate it. And um, that's the overall goal today. So I just slapped on that P. Louise base on my eyelids. This stuff is absolutely incredible. It really, really is. It allows those eye shadows to really grab onto your eyelid and stick on there. So now it is time to start throwing on the color. All right, you guys, today I am going to be diving into the Me, Myself, and Mama Ma Mitchell palette. This palette is so fun and has so many amazing color choices, literally every color, basically. And look how fun the packaging is. I absolutely love it. Um, check it out. So this is what we have to work with today. And first I am going to dive into this blue shade right here. Um, it is called Mist. And I'm going to wing it out onto my eyelids. So let's begin. It is so cold in here, you guys. Um, <laughs> in my studio, I don't have heat or air conditioning. Um, and it's freezing outside right now. And it's, it's in the middle of the night. It's currently uh, 1138 and it is so cold um so that's why i'm wearing this nice little robe here um i did have a heater going but uh i don't want the microphone to pick that up it's just annoying so it's always a struggle and but it's okay so um let's just let's just get started here i need to shut up and get to work all right okay i'm gonna be taking a morphe 456 brush and we are going to be diving into that blue shade, like I said, mist. Just packing it onto the brush. And then we are going to 
tap off the excess and let's start throwing on this blue. So what I am doing is I am taking that blue and I'm kind of just throwing it on right now and I'm also stamping it into my lid just so that pigment really starts to show. I'm taking it and I'm winging it out just trying to create the overall shape right now and then we'll go in and we will fine tune everything. Now I am going to take my Morphe Pride palette and we are going to dive into this really light blue called Art. And we are going to use this color to go around the edges and buff it out sort of smoke it and uh, blur the line. And I'm just gonna take that same brush. Okay, first of all, let me turn the heat down so that you can hear me better. I'm gonna take that same blue brush that I used right here because why not? And just gonna take that and coat the brush with this shade, Art, love it. And let's start blending out these edges a little bit more. Just using very, very light strokes. I'm just buffing out the lines to sort of create that face tuned effect. Very blurred very lightly, very lightly touching the skin right now. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of taking my brush and kind of matching it to try to get the same height on each side. All right, so now I am going to cut the crease using, again, P. Louise Base, and we're gonna take a flat brush and we are gonna start stamping that in. Okay, so now I am gonna be diving into the Morphe M431 brush, and I am going to start taking a purple and following that line that I have just created, I am going to take the shade right here. Morgan is the name. Now I am going to move on to the next shade, which would be pink. We're going to do pink next, then go with red, orange, yellow. So let's start with some pink. All right, you guys, now it's time to move on and add the red. We are gonna be diving into the shade Mad. And I'm sorry if I'm sniffling. Like I said, it's, it's really cold out here. <laughs> let's talk, girl. Okay, so, number one, let's just start with Netflix. Who, have you, who has watched AJ and the Queen? Oh my gosh, it's the new show um, featuring RuPaul. I love RuPaul, I mean, hello. Um, he was so good. I finished it a couple of days ago. It only took me like two days to finish it because it's just one of those shows that you have to binge. And um, his acting was superb. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to protect my son but you're doing the opposite. Shutting Brick down will make him less and less of who he is. He might be more comfortable for you to be around, but he won't be Brick anymore. Let him be too much. The world needs it. It's 
really good. He did a really fabulous job and it was so funny. Oh my gosh. The only thing is that I would say the little girl um, was very annoying. I, I keep it real with you guys. She was annoying. But towards the middle and end, you start to sort of like her more. Uh, so definitely don't stop because of how annoying she is. Just keep with it and keep watching and it gets better and better and better and it gets you hooked. Absolutely recommend it. The next show that I have been watching on Netflix is Glow Up. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you guys love makeup like I do, you have to watch Glow Up. It is this fabulous series. Um, it's basically a makeup challenge. And it's based in, I believe, um, London? What else? Uh, YouTube. Okay, so this week, we need to sit down, let me drop my brush. We need to talk. Nikki Tutorials released a new video this week. And I am so proud of her. She, if you don't know who Nikki Tutorials is, she is one of the original makeup artists on YouTube. I think she's been filming on YouTube for 10 years. And this past week she announced that she is transgender. She came out. Um, apparently she transitioned at a very young age and the Nikki that we have been watching this entire decade on YouTube um, is transgender and I absolutely commend her the bravery the courage just a true inspiration um, Nikki, I'm so proud of you, and you have you have really changed a lot of lives. And I love you, we love you, and I can't wait to continue to watch you on your journey. The eyeshadow is on my lids. Now, little bit of fallout, um, take a brush. I've already got my powder under there. Just take it and swipe it off as quick as possible. Swipe it, boom. Just like that. All right, now, if you think my eyelids were the only place that we were gonna be putting color today, <laughs> honey, you were mistaken. All right, now I'm just gonna throw on some glitter. Add it right here. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel. All right, now I am going to throw on an eyeliner and I will be right back. All right, you guys, I just slept on some eyeliner. I already went ahead and put on my eyelashes, and now I am going to add some more color all over my face using the same eyeshadow palette. All right, you guys, we are about to wrap this makeup look. It is time to throw on that little mustache moment, yes, and throw on a lipstick. So let's wrap it up. I am gonna be using Lady Gaga's House Laboratories. I'm gonna fill it in with this pencil and we're gonna to top it off with a gloss. So let's do it. And speaking of Lady Gaga House Laboratories, today she released a contest on Instagram. Um, and I actually entered. And I'm so excited. She's actually giving six people the opportunity to be flown out to Los Angeles and to be photographed on their next uh, makeup launch campaign. Um, I would kill for that opportunity. I can't speak right now. I'm literally freezing. It's so cold out here. Um, well, not kill, but like I would love to be a part of that. That would be so incredible. Fingers crossed. 
Ah, oh, I love that sound. <laughs> All right. And because I like it to look drowned in gloss, I'm just gonna keep applying. All right, you guys, let's set this bitch in place. Um, scratch that. Actually, one more thing. I want to add some eyebrows. All right, you guys, I believe I am all done. We have finished this look and I love it. I'm living for it. Um, this is exactly what I needed. I needed to just sit down in my studio, get creative, play with some makeup, slap on some color. This is like my first like rainbow makeup look and I'm here for it. I love it. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it took a long time though. It's, a, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. It took hours upon hours and a bitch is tired. I need to go to sleep. Um, been to work all day, been filming all night. I'm tired, so let me uh, put on some earrings for you and let me put on some gloves, change my appearance, get out of this robe even though I'm freezing to death and let's film this outro, baby. guys that brings us to the end of today's YouTube video I had to throw on a crown it just felt appropriate I mean duh some bigger better earrings uh, you know a vintage robe some bracelets bangles oh my god I'm obsessed with bangles right now side note it reminds me of like Iris Adfield before I continue with the outro I just wanted to say that it's okay to not be okay Remember that. We're all human. We're all going through so many things. 2020 so far has been pretty bumpy and I think there's only room for progress and growth. What's most important is how you pick yourself up and how you keep moving forward. Dust yourself off, hold your chin up high, and keep fighting for your dreams, your goals, your life. No matter how many people are trying to bring you down. Keep fighting and keep pushing forward. It'll, it'll get better. I promise you. All right, you guys, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. I have two Instagram accounts. It's one being my photography Instagram, one being my personal Instagram where I show off me, myself, my makeup, my life, etc. My Twitter, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on everything, you guys, and make sure to hit that subscribe button, click the little bell icon, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this look today. I personally am living. It's one of my favorites, I think, for sure. All right, you guys, remember to always stay sharp. Stay sharp. Bye. Bye.